Hi viewers, in this video I am going to explain about loading the data into date data type fields. So let me take an example. I have the students info table. This is the data I have it. So I will make use of this file and I will load the data. So how many ways we can do that and what are the challenges? Okay, so and is there any um, easy method we can load it? So we will see in this video. So first thing, let me import the table into the repository flat file let me import the structure and then go to the all files student info save ok and then import a field name ok this is the first uh, first line is the field names and this is a delimiter I am not going to change it and then save ok so defaultly comma separated so yes I am using the comma separated file only so the data also segregated accordingly okay say so next let's see the data one this is numeric and this is a text and this is date so date most of the times uh, everyone will give if the data you, you are getting the flat file okay is the source then most of the times they will specify the data type as character only but let me give the date okay i can i can provide the date also and this is also date data type and this is also date data type so three okay i made it as date data type so now how can we load the data we'll see that as already this table is present in the repository it will ask it will give a couple of options i will say replace it and the first thing you need to do that if your source is a flat file and you declared as a date and time is any field don't forget to give the format what format you are getting the data okay what format you are supplying the data so click on here and this one click on this format uh, string so dob which format you are getting just see that this is mm slash yyyy yy slash sorry uh, mm dd yyyy so this is the way you are getting same way you are getting delete and then say ok and then dob how you are getting it this is the format is mmddyyyy so with those slashes ok let's remove this all remove the slashes also ok say ok and now finally dom how you are getting the data yeah this hyphens okay so mm dd yyyy so let's declare the same way mm hyphen dd hyphen and this things delete okay so now this is the configuration you need to do that so now remaining part is very easy let's go ahead and create the data uh, mapping create the mapping m underscore um, student info table loading okay this is the name i'm giving some use uh, meaningful information okay so bring the file bring the source student info is the source and target this is a emp not emp student info is the target okay already this is uh, i have in the i already i imported this table already I imported the table student info where is the student info clear all this is the table i just imported already okay I'm making use of it so now directly I can connect to the target so without any issue because this is the date this is the date date data so three dates already I configured into this one and here also date so I can able to connect so save it now go ahead and create the workflow so what is the name we have given student info table load is the table 
this is the workflow done so now give the connections so what is the source for here is a flat file so where it is located it is there in the desktop so provide the desktop path properties okay and then here okay so next one is target now change to the normal and uh, give the target truncate target table option okay so that we can execute several times just for clarity purpose save okay now just try to execute it Just export the work workflow. See the statistics. How many records are present? Is the four records are present? Yes. Four read it from the source. This is the source call fair. And four you know, loaded into the target. Okay. So just go back and the table and see the data. If the data is present or not. Okay. Refresh it. Yes. The data has been loaded so this is the way you can load the data okay into the date data type fields so this is how you can load the data when you, you are declaring the date data type in the source level itself so think you are getting the data into string format so you know you have taken the uh, flat file but we can take the rdbms right but in that uh, if, you, if, you, if you are getting string format how to load the data We'll see it out. So let me use the same source itself, but I will change the format. Okay, I will change the data type. So whether it is a flat file or any RDBMS table, okay, relation table, okay. But if you are getting the data into the string format, how to load it? That's what our intention. Okay, let's change the data type. String. String. So I just change the format to string. Save it and now so these three data types are changed. Let me propagate it because here the date and time is there. Propagate attribute. So data types so propagate. Yes, automatically it's a change. So now how to achieve this? How to load the data? So first extensively we need to convert the data, right? Normally we will do like that. So further we need to use the expression this is the expression this is the one and for each and every uh, no port so let's create the output port output port because we need to convert the data depth right so that's the reason so dob and this is date and time and uh, this one is output only so this is one and for this again output of output port doj and this is also date and time and for this one more port output of dom so this is also date and time and both are output ports only so we don't need it. this is not the input port output port so it's the only output port we are declaring over here so let's convert the data into the date for date data types and how to convert for converting there is a predefined function is a to date so this is the to date to date of what is the port dob comma you need to supply the what format it is there so dbb what is the format mm slash dd slash yyyy okay this is the format you are supplying so mm slash dd slash yyyy okay so now validate it expression passed successfully In the same way doj also to date to date of doj comma 
So now the format is which format it is? Is a mm dd -Y, 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 y So no uh, colons, nothing. So mm dd -Y, -Y, y y So this is the format. It is there. And then the final one is dom. To date. Double click on it. DOM and then the format is what's what is the format is there? Is mm no hyphen dd y y y y mm fun dd y y y y so this is the format we are supplying so like this extensively okay explicitly you need to convert the data okay and then whether it is a flat file or RDBMS file, anything, RDBMS table, anything. So if the data is coming into the, you know, in a string, okay, so you need to convert it back to the data, data and type. So then only you can connect it. Student name and the DOB and DOJ and DOM. So this is how you can do that. Save it. Let's refresh the workflow. Let's refresh the workflow. Yes, it's done. So let's validate it. Okay. Save it. Now fine. So let's start the execution. Start the workflow. So four records are read and four records are loaded. Let's go back and see the data. Refresh it. See, this is how you need to load the data. So when you are, uh, when the data types are string format, you need to extensively, okay, you need to convert it back. So now let me sh give you one more small example in the same manner. Think all this uh, string formats are in the, you no, know, whatever the data data is there. So same format. That's meaning is. Here also the format is same in the same manner everywhere okay all three fields are same format so both are same and now this let's change this one also Okay, let's save it. Control S. Yes. So the date fields DOB, DOJ, DOM. Okay. So even though this is a string format, but the format, what the data, okay, uh, which format you are supplying, all these fields are same data, you know, same format you are supplying the data. Correct. So how to achieve this? So what you will do normally? So you will change the format in the to date function. Correct. Everywhere same you will do that. Correct. Let's change it up the same way. So here also you will mention like this and then here also you will mention the same format okay and then apply okay now again if you load the data it will load it out save yes just restart the workflow double click on it yes four records are read and four records are loaded so let's refresh the data so it's loaded so now it's working fine correct but uh, let me give you one shortcut okay so when the situation is like whatever the date fields are you are connect no loading the data so these are the date fields okay so if you are connecting if you are loading the data okay a date fields instead of converting okay uh, all the fields into the date data type if all the fields are giving the same 
format all date fields supplying the source sources these are the source for the these three date fields right so if these three fields are giving the same format then no need to mention over here no need to explicitly okay convert over here directly what you can do you can connect this and in the session level you can manipulate it so how to manipulate is this string data you are loading into the date this string data you are loading into the date this string data you are loading to the date so what format you are getting this data if you mention in the session level it will works fine so let's refresh save it and then double click on it if you can go back and see the configuration object see here it is the date time format string so here you need to mention what format that string okay you are supplying the string data what format you are supplying so delete it delete it so now this is the format only you are supplying right mm slash dd slash y y y y so now save okay and now save okay and now let's start so it works fine so session level you are manipulating it so whatever the uh, format you are getting in the source in the string fields see the is, is loaded this is how you can do it so what is the limitation for this the date fields connection sources okay the so, source fields all the date fields should get you know in the uh, same format if the same format if you are getting the okay source data then that format you can configure in session level so this is a shortcut you can do that so no need to do explicitly conversion no need to do the conversion explicitly so by configuring the session level itself you can achieve this okay so please uh, practice this and feel free to give a comment and let me know if you have any questions so thanks for watching video so have a great day then bye bye